This is Gabriel Gonzalez for Cage Side Press here with number one Bellator featherweight contender Arlene Blanco, who will be fighting Chris Cyborg in Hawaii later this month. Arlene, um, you know what? Just talk to me. How are you feeling? Everything in between going into this fight? I'm um, I'm excited. Actually, this is my first press conference um, for Bellator, so you know it's the third um, fight card that I've headlined and first press conference. So it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, no, I'm excited. Well, it's been. Um, you know, a hard five weeks almost here in America in fight camp, um, you know, proceeding four weeks back home. So it's been a good camp and I'm just ready to get in there and, and have some fun. This is my main um, goal in this fight is just to have fun against, yeah, if not one of the scariest women in, on the planet. But um, get in there and just showcase what I can do and have fun in there. Obviously, you know, stay ready. You're always training and things like that. Were you expecting this call? Because respectfully, I think people thought, well, they seem to be lining up Kat Zingano for Chris, the Kayla Harrison talks, is it going to happen, is it not? Was it, you know, like, hey, you know, I didn't think it was going to happen necessarily next for me that I get another title shot? I, um, yeah, 100% did not expect it at all. I actually, in my plans, um, thought that I'd probably be back inside the Bellator cage in the second half of the year, and I was actually um, looking at um, stepping back inside the boxing ring and um, making my run at some world titles there. So, um, yeah, completely left field. I um, mean, apart from the Cats and Gano and um, Kayla Harrison, Sinead Kavanaugh's name was even mentioned after the Island card. So, yeah, to um, obviously, I'm, um, yeah extremely happy that I was the one. I mean, I'm the number one contender, so it's not like it was just thrown at me for, and, and non-deserving. Um, I'm coming off two good um, two good wins, and yeah, I'm, I'm here to fight, and, and yeah, I'm just grateful for Scott and um, the Bellator promotion for giving me this um, you know, third opportunity now. Now, for people who are sleeping on you, we've seen plenty of rematches. You know, hey, it went one way the first time, second time around, it's completely different. What should fans know about Arlene going into this big rematch against a legend like Chris Cyborg? Well, that's it. Uh, like I said, I'm the number one in the division. Um, I didn't get, I didn't fall here. I worked extremely hard. So, you know, the people that back me and believe in me, um, like, thank you, and the people that are sleeping on me, well, you'll see. Um, you know, it, it's it's a fight game, and if some fights in recent history haven't shown you, there's been some, some terrible upsets um, that people and fans did not expect. So, um, yeah, it's it's a fight game. Anything can happen inside like that cage. So, you should not sleep on anyone. Do you look ahead to everything else going on at featherweight? Sinead, Cat. I mean, co-promotion is a word being thrown out there and maybe bringing in some other women in, not necessarily UFC, but around other promotions. I mean, do you think about those fights? Does that keep you motivated at this stage of the career to keep adding more names to your resume? Um, to be honest, at the moment, the only name I'm interested in is Chris. She is the champion. She's been at the top of the division my whole career. Like, she's been the name. Um, and, and it's the pinnacle. As I said in the um, press conference, Winning this fight, becoming the world champion, is will be the highlight of my career, um, and, and nothing gets bigger than that. So, um, for me at the moment, I'm only concentrating on that. And honestly, I don't, I don't know what happens after that. Um, yeah, it just, it, you know, what I will do is 100% sit on the beach in Hawaii with my belt in one hand and a cocktail in the other, and um, and enjoy being a world champion. And then, yeah, I'm not like I said, not thinking past that moment, and I'm going to let it soak in, and I'm going to enjoy it. Arlene, it's been a pleasure. Best of luck.